This is too epic for me. Wow, last time on Heroes Rest. Oh, no, that was you guys becoming real things from tokens. Come on. Oh. It's just like this happening. Oh, I probably can't play that. <laughs> You'll probably get copied. Strike the fuck out of it if I play that. One. I mean, the other one was melee. All right, there you go, Nick. Oh, good. <laughs> L last time on Heroes Rest, our party was finishing up the rest of Marcarius's crew. Dyrus stabs his lover in the fucking front. I don't know. That was kind of weird. Then our party delved deeper into the weird rooms behind Atlantia. They found Marcarius, and through the wise words and maybe therapeutic feelings of Tiki and Zora, maybe not murdering him, they were able to convince Marcarius to stand down. But what? There was something behind the scenes the whole time? Spooky guy appeared out of portal, and he grabbed a, a fucking strand of the fates? B -b -b what? And then they, things got mushy, and that was kind of cringe. It was good times. Yeah. Well, it was a bag that had the fate strings on it, not. It was a bag, and then Portal Guy showed up, and he grabbed the string, and then he disappeared, and we tried to stop him, and he, wasn't, he said no, and then he left. He didn't say no, you guys just didn't. We, we fight with it, we tried our best, okay? <laughs> All right, cool. So, give me one second to. I'm looking for some notes. All right. So, we return back to the scene of Marcarius um, holding Zora's face, um, tears falling down her face, and him being proud of her. As everyone walks around, um, what are you guys doing? Uh, cr uh crying. Uh, Demir will walk. Um, I don't know where he's going. Uh, fucking Cyrus is fine. Um, which Jerb's gonna look at? Yeah. She's gonna kind of look at them, or actually, she's gonna look towards Grandma. I thought pirates weren't allowed to have relationships. What? Why would pirates not be allowed to have relationships? No, no, he's right about that one. Why? I don't know. They were just very adamant about it. Rev will walk up. That's monks. Rev, Rev will walk up and put a hand on Sharp's. Uh, shoulder. Do you let him? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Because in Sharp's head, Rev is a friend. <laughs> Mistake. <laughs> Ow! Let me check what spell slots I have left. <laughs> oh, yeah, we fucking have nothing. Okay, he's gonna mass healing work. That's what Demir is going to do. Cool. Okay, Rev. Take, take 33 damage. Start. God damn it. Oh, damn it, Rev. Stop ruining the moment. Okay, well, that's going on. Demir's gonna heal Rev, Bubbles, and Marcarius. Oh, you're gonna let Sharp suffer. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was our own fault. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bum, bum, bum. Alright. So they all heal seven? Okay. That's about all I can do. That a boy. <laughs> Did you add that to bubbles? No. Uh, Zora. I'm not Rev. Bubbles. My carriers. Uh, Riff gives the thumbs up to. Oh. Wait, that's up to six creatures. Yep. Would that double it or no? If you want to. Are you trying? Are you doubling up on the heal? 
Yeah. On each of those targets? Okay. Yeah. So they fill 14 veterans. Alright, cool. Uh, Rand's Rand just gonna walk over to Rand and go. There's still a war going on, isn't there? <sighs> probably. I should probably minimize my casualties. Hey, Marcarius, can you call your guys off? Can, can, can you? Can Kit, <laughs> you just <Ooh>. hugging, <laughs> hugging Zora, and it's like they're having a moment, just them, and like the whole world's gone. Mm, if only we had oh, someone who could is. message. He'll, he'll, he'll like uh, tears coming down his face as he's hugging Zora tightly. He's, <laughs> what? Uh, you're still attacking the city. Oh, yeah, I should probably tend to my crew. What's left to your crew? <laughs> what do you mean, what's left to my crew? <laughs> it's going to be you. Well, you see, there were a lot of battles going outside, and I just, I, I can't help but wonder if everyone... What are my losses? Well, you're the captain, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so you look at Zora to see, in a way, asking if he can hit. She will nod. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, he's gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna roll his weapon, but it's gonna be uh, this minus six. It's weapon and proficiency. So minus six. Minus six? Okay. Um, if it's a 14, it doesn't hit. Okay. Um. He'll look at you, and then he'll be like, You're lucky she's here. Oh, I know. I could never take who... you to fight by myself. Now I ask again, who are my losses? <laughs> as far as my upper chain. Let's Locked make it room. easier. Well, my beak survived. <laughs> Oh, good news. oh god, it's gonna be you, huh? So Bucky's uh, the only one. The, yes. <sighs> and then you'll see him sigh, walk a couple steps forward, look back to Zora. He'll nod. I've got to go in this. We'll talk more yeah. when things are wrapped up, yeah? Maybe. I didn't know turn. Uh, Ramsey. That runs in the family. What are you doing? Shouldn't we probably go with him? We should probably, yeah. Ramsey, uh, yeah. what are you doing? You know that your people will want compensation, and the man who caused all this is about to leave. Um, uh, it's, it's, excuse me. I, I, I. I turn around. Yes. So, I can't exactly just let you leave. What, what do you mean? Y you attacked my city. And you attacked my people. Well, defended. And you killed my people, apparently. And you killed mine. So then we're even. Mm -hmm. 
I think that maybe we need to do some peace negotiations. Yeah, you've killed mine. I've killed yours. We're at peace. Maybe, maybe, maybe an official thing. Like, I, I'm saying don't. We can't just, you. I'll, we can, I'll go with you. So you're joining my crew? No, not quite. Maybe. I mean, did they get free? Never mind. Um. Maybe you could give, you know, the orb that you stole back. Oh, yeah, do you have that orb? Yeah. What you need with it? In my city. Kind of protects us. Stops the civilians from dying. And what if we want to come back and purchase wares or something? I Mike, think, again, let's do some peace talks, but let's not leave until we finish peace talks. You can make a pirate deal! <laughs> He'll look at Zora. Do I have to stay and do these talks? Well, you did kind of kill his people. And he killed mine. But you attacked first, and that's really the whole... I believe we he does reside in your sea as well. Maybe, yeah, which means it's fair game, doesn't maybe, it? Maybe practice some politics here? Politics. Make, it, it, make a persuasion <laughs> check with advantage. <laughs> Dyrus will whisper, call him daddy, he might, he might listen more. Did you shut the fuck up? <laughs> you said persuasion. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you pretty persuasive? Uh, <laughs> what is what is that word? Party. Party. Ah, and then you'll see him touch his arm tattoo. Parley! Oh, and then you, you guys just see, like, you just see, like, his tattoo glow. There, the town should be safe. So I'm good to go. Not, not, not quite. We still need to talk about, hey, maybe don't attack, attack again. Maybe let's be friends, you know, let's, well, hold on, let's... Let's go up topside and, go and make... look at Zora. Friends. It means not kill each other. Cyrus will nudge Zora. Tell him the orb, Zora. No, uh, also, I think Ramsey wants his orb back. I found it. Yeah. Hmm. There is the old rule of findies no, keepies. Zora. Hmm. <sighs> if my daughter says or asks, then we'll have no air quotes negotiations. <laughs> She'll go, Dad. Can you negotiate with Ramsey, please? I'll be aboard my ship. You send a messenger, and he won't die, and we'll set up a time to talk. Yeah, that's that's a good start. Let's start walking away. Okay. Dyrus will go, oh, Dad, as he's nudging Zora. Has he finally found something he can make fun of her with? Is Dyrus fucking nudging me? Yeah. I'd punch Dyrus in the face. Give it a roll. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn. Right. Punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just one plus whatever Zora's strength modifiers. No, you probably like three or four. Anyways, uh, uh, Ramsey will go. R Raz, hello. <laughs> yes. Oh, does he answer? Oh no. Hey, hey, uh, uh, we, we stop the fighting. I've s noticed all of the pirates have seemed to have stopped, so I've called off. Um, 
I'm, I'm gonna go do peace stops. I, I'm gonna see you before I leave. Oh. I will see you soon, then. Okay. Aww. All right, let's go see who's dead. I mean, negotiate. I love right. the chat. Good team. All right, so uh, I take it you guys to go back to the castle to talk to everybody. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is, is there like I don't know how how bad on our walk back? Is it like corpses galore? Yeah. What are what are the streets looking like? Sorry, back saving though. <laughs> oh, there's a new corpse in the streets. I thought the fighting stopped. Not the infighting. <laughs> the outfighting. Sharp deck saving throw. Yep, I'm doing it. I just have to pull up my sheet. Cool. You take zero damage. <laughs> Is anyone going to stop this? Because Rebel will not stop attacking until he dies. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Iris God, you guys are going yes, to Yes, he's going to step in between. <laughs> and be like, Ram! Come on, bud. Not right now. Uh, you, if you do not grapple him, he will continue to start attacking. Iris tackles Rev. All right. Athletics versus acrobatics or athletics. Can I chloroform the cat? Jesus. It's okay, Sharp's gonna just try to avoid Rev for now because Rev seems angry. Uh. Rev is going to use his inspiration to make Rachel reroll. Okay. Sharp, are you going to do anything? Um. Well, I guess he does a bunch of ranged. No, no, Sharp's just going to try to uh, basically grab his arm and say, Rev, calm down. Grapple. <sighs> athletics versus athletics or acrobatics. Acrobatics is higher, so we're gonna go that route. No, you don't get to oh. choose acrobatics. You can only do athletics. Alright. Rev, I'm just gonna need you to settle down here, boy. He's gonna dimension door and disappear. What the but, fuck? Wait, am I holding on to him, though? Because. Cause... Um, he needs verbal components. Yeah, but he just, like, fades out of, like, things. He doesn't have to step through the door. Mm hmm. Alright. Can we can I wait it can we not fight? We are supposed to be together. Cyrus is gonna I'll even roll the roll the uh, athletics for this, but Cyrus is going to grab Sharp by the scruff of his neck and say, What the fuck did you say to him? I was just excited that he introduced me to his family and he got mad. I, uh, God, fuck, God. Dyrus will continue to carry the cat by his scrub. Do I need to roll an athletics for this? That's based off of Sharp. I mean, if you want to carry him, Sharp, Sharp is like confused and feels bad, so he's just kind of letting you do what you do. I'm just going to hold you by the scruff of your neck and drag you. Dude, I, I'll, I'll go look for the, stop. Um. Okay, I guess I'm gonna. Zora's gonna take a detour on the walk back. Okay. Can I can I find out? Like I assume the shadiest place. <laughs> uh, I mean, you meant to Um, if you go to the shadiest place, he's not there. Um, <laughs> so you guys go back to the castle. Yeah, Dyrus will turn to Grandma and say, Grandma. Yeah, uh, uh, the Grand Duke's gonna castle. Yeah. Iris will drag Sharp to the castle and 
that him in the corner. You have to do anything. Stay in this corner and think about what you've done. But I didn't do anything. Don't. Think about it. She's gonna sit on the floor and start drawing on the floor with this finger. Alright, cool. Um... Tiki, what are you trying to do to... find... <laughs> to find Rev? Hold yeah. on, I'm gonna... Let me see what my freaking spell slots are right now. Not good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... send him a goddamn message, or at least try to. You up and... canvassing message? And just be like, <sighs> I had. Give me one second. I have to roll something for red. Uh, this will be an Arcana check. Shark okay, cool. He does healer. not. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. He is in town. He's not anywhere else. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so he's close enough that I can sending to him. Ah, uh, yeah, you can send. Okay, well then I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna use sending fucking fourth level. I hate it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so if you're gonna see Dyrus like glare at you like every couple of minutes, make sure you're not leaving the corner. I'll put Shark in the corner. God damn it! And I'm just gonna be like, Riv, Ramsey and the party still really need you. Can we at least talk about this? I will tell you this will be a mm, DC 17 persuasion check. Oh, God. Okay. Grandma, how's that persuasion shit? Normally pretty good. That was a shit fucking roll, though. I can't get that to a 17 with anything I use, so. He will... This is what you will get back. Meet me at the hot springs in two hours. <laughs> That's all he says. Okay. Oh, you don't know that, Dyrus. No, but mm -hmm. but it, right. uh, that's that's not Dyrus talking. That's me talking. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, At least cool. he fucking answered. <laughs> yeah, I was I was worried that he wasn't gonna say shit. Be like God. Fucking so with that, all the work yeah. To bring Rev back just for a cat to make him go away. All right. I'm uh, gonna let the party know that maybe, maybe we shouldn't bring up the deaths anymore, or the yeah, the fates anymore. Wait, what? No, I was gonna say maybe we shouldn't bring you. Oh. <laughs> when all you right. get to the hot spring, I thought that was obvious. Yeah. All right, so uh, we no, return back to I the. the yeah, I that's I was gonna say that too, but you All know, right, I'm at so least gonna tell everybody. We go to the castle, um, in the castle, uh, it seems like there's people just rushing in and out, um, of the castle. Uh, you see like armed troops, like even like. Uh, people who are injured, like, clearly injured, like, there's one dude in a sling, like, rushing to, like, go out uh, and do something. Um, you see, like, like lots of people, like, just sending out orders, sending people to different directions and stuff like that. Um, as you guys make your way, they, like, uh, see Ramsey and they nod and then uh, continue to do their business. Um, as you guys head into the, head towards the council room, uh, you hear... Uh, what seems to be like a lot of conversation going on. Uh, as you guys enter the council room, uh, you'll see that there's a full council. Uh, like all of the council people are here. Um, you see Jess, the master at arms, and Tech Tan. Um, like uh, Jess has like a deep, like a cut on like part of his chest, while uh, Tech Tan like has like a bandage around uh, his head a little bit. Um, you see, like, the Master of Coin is, like, has his abacus and is just going back and forth, like, calculating stuff and writing things down. Um, King, as they're all, like, just 
there's like three different conversations going on. Man is like talking to Heron um, and stuff like that. Uh, as you guys um, come in, you'll hear Heron go, it seems that they have pulled back, but what should we do? Uh, they have not left the ports. Uh, we, we don't know if they're planning another attack or uh, we've rapidly sent help to our uh, Astrid, you've you've started sending out healers to just help the public, right? And she'll nod. Um, Ramsey will walk in and go, I have returned! Oh, Ramsey, welcome back. Uh, please Hello. take a seat. Okay. Um, we were talking about the state of the battle. All of a sudden, they stopped attacking and uh, went back to their ships. Uh, the sharks yes. stopped attacking the ships as well. Yes. Um, we have called a ceasefire. Uh, under what under what conditions? Uh, they, we 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 stopped the commander of their army, and now we're in going to have negotiation talks. You you'll see him start to talk, and then when you say start negotiation talks, he like looks back in disbelief. So you've sub. Dude, their commander, but you haven't taken him prisoner? We're having talks as if we're equals? Well, things came up, and... and, and what this, things? Uh, this got more. You come calm up. down. I, will, uh, I demand... Astrid will this. cut you off. It's like, why would you subdue their commander, the person who has killed countless of our people, and just let him walk away? They have yet to leave the city, have they not? Yes, because you've brought them a place in which they are now equals to us. To this table. You have brought a murderer to be in as... She, like, just looks down in disbelief. And like raises her arms in confusion, what? and also ended the fighting between everyone else before any more lives were lost. Persuasion check at disadvantage. It's fine. At disadvantage. She will I'm rolling great today. She will stare you down. Our this is not team. your place, Seder. She is here under me. You will respect the people I bring along with me. Man will turn to you and say, and why should we do that? Because these were the people out there fighting the front lines for a city they don't belong to. All right, give me one sec. I have to think of how each one would react to that. Uh... Make an insight check. Insight. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, you'll see Heron looks to still be upset but is willing to hear you out man tech tan jest astrid are all just completely dismissive of what you have to say next um carrot uh karen Tal is just counting um and then syrian is willing to hear but he's still um not towards your side in the conversation. Um, and you'll see Tessa is just her jaws agape and just surprised at like what the fuck is going on. And like just complete disbelief. That's fair. Uh, I will say you can read the room pretty well to understand what you say next is going to be very important. 
At this time, Zora would be back. Okay. Alright, well, I'll try that. So the commander of our of the enemy who was who was attacking our city, unfortunately, is a very powerful man, as I'm sure you're aware of. That comes with two kind of major things. One, if I had gone for the kill, <laughs> that would leave where we reside in the sea in chaos. The man responsible for overseeing this part of the sea as far as pirates go is, is the pirate king. If and only if he was left alive in this situation, I saw it upon a greater value to seek negotiations. If I and I alone can secure a sort of a deal with him to allow our seed to be protected against future threats. That is a, a, a main cause of why he was allowed to return and get his affairs in order. He won't leave the city nor do anything against us as long as we have her. When he'll point to Zora. I'm not going to go into their private affairs, but he won't do anything against her. For now, we are going to have negotiations. I am going to get the, or the orb he previously stole away. And I'm going to secure a safer place for us. I agree there should be repercussions. But let us talk and, and find the wounded and tally the numbers and make sure everyone else is safe for now. We can argue later. Karen Tall, who this whole time has been counting from his abacus, will like shake his head back, put his abacus down. So, you do not seek an advantageous position in which we could have had him in chains to try to, quote-unquote, bargain and have whatever she is to him, giving us extreme leverage. The leverage kind is... of negotiator, are you? The leverage is still remains. Yes, and we would have more if he was in chains under our custody. I do not think the change would stop him, to be fair. I'm trying to seek out a better future relationship. One where bloodshed does not have to return to our city, to our streets, to our people. And he is a pirate. Of what honor does he have? And then you'll see him start to sit up and like, um, nobody does anything. Um, they all look at him and look at you. Why should we listen to you?
We as a city have been running perfectly fine without you. We let you go and do whatever you wanted to do to establish relations. And when we get attacked, yes, you did help us. You did well. But instead of subduing the enemy so that the people, he'll point to Astrid, feel safe and capturing him so that the military, points at Tech 10 Jess, feel like they've accomplished something and as well feel safe, you let him go. You say we have a bargaining chip with her, but what if he decides that's not good enough? And what relation could possibly make him not attack her? And why is it not just her that he won't kill, and he'll kill everyone else? Tiki's grand protection instinct is kicking in, and she wants to jump in so hard right now. She's not gonna. She wants to. Alright. Um... I'm trying to think how what I'm gonna do here. Zora, make a deception check at disadvantage. Okay. Okay. Uh, you'll see man look at Zora think for a second and then make an aha moment and then stare Ramsey down. Yes, man. Oh, nothing. And he's just glaring daggers at you. Who is it that who is it that just finished speaking? It was the um, master coin, right? Mm -hmm. Remind me of his name, please. Oh, you can't see it. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Karen Fall. Yeah. Hey, give me one second. Let me make it so you can see everybody. Okay. <clears throat> Can you see all the names? Yes. Okay. Let's do a look towards Karen Tolingo. If you question what I you question what I have to, what I'm offering here, and what I've done. Yes. Why you should listen to me of all people instead of the man sitting in that chair? No pointing. No point to Charon. Charon. I have done my, my absolute best to establish relationships to aid the future of our kingdom. Well, I appreciate you acknowledging my my readiness to fight for our city. If I am not actively doing what I can to prevent future things from happening and gaining us new allies, then what is my purpose? You demand retribution, yes. You want everyone here to know that they have 
sacrificed for something. I'm sure you can figure it out. The casualties could have been much worse. Let's say we capture their commander. We bring him here in chains. What stops the rest of the less honorable ones from coming straight here? I did what I did to avoid bloodshed. If they did a full-on siege, not just to our city, but to this very castle, trying to keep him prisoner, what would those numbers have been? Well, let's see. I guess that would have been a... He'll look towards Jess. I guess I think he could figure out the number of that specifically better. Carentall will scoff and wave his hand at you dismissingly. Return to his seat. And Jess will speak up. My lord... I have always honored your position. And anyone at this table can tell you Karen Tall's intentions are always just based off of greed. But here I agree with him. We could have had their leader, the strongest of them, here, we could have made an example of him. And even with a siege, do you not trust your people to be able to break it? This is our home. And what I do not trust is opening up a position in their rankings for someone else to come and finish what he started. You... Lord, you give us nothing. In this position, we have nothing to physically hold, no sort of responsibility or accountability. Are you saying that we should take your friend and use them purely as a bargaining chip? That doesn't seem honorable. Are you saying that we should take the word of a pirate? That doesn't seem logical. Why? No, I'm not taking the word of a pirate. I'm taking the word of a father. They all look at each other confused. Man smiles and puts his hand leans his face on the on uh, his hand which is sitting on the table oh father of whom this smugly looks at Ramsey he'll kind of motion for Zora to step forward but he's gonna give a side eye to grandma at the same time it's like Grandma doesn't like any of this right now. Yeah. I'll go, everyone meet the fifth pirate lord. Captain Zora. Are you going by Radnar or Radnor now? Ron you know. Ron. You know, it's kind of whatever. She will go, hello, everyone. Pleasure doing war with you. Pleasure doing war with you. That phrasing. Um. Yeah. So, um. Here's the thing. 
Soon will tap his cane in a large, long, sorry, a loud Hoom! fills the room and he will stand. Lord, I've heard what you've had to say and taking in consideration of everyone in this council. I beseech that you allow us to take even while it may be temporarily your comrade as a prisoner in place of Mark Harris. <laughs> and then all of them will nod and then look towards Ramsey. Is Heron looking toward me? Yes. Uh, you can see Heron his eyes are pleading. You can see he trusts you so much, but this is a position that he feels he can't do anything. Because anything he says for you will be against the people, and anything he says against you, he doesn't want to do. I think we should not use her as a bargaining chip, but she would be an asset in negotiations. If it pleases the council, you may do so for now. I look at Ramsey and I look at Zora and I look back at Ramsey. Ramsey's not looking at you. He's staring I've... towards. Mm. He's staring towards just right now. Is Zora just okay with this? You know. She's gonna kind of go. Hey, uh, wh maybe we don't do that. Ramsey will look towards Zora and go. For now, may you please go with them. I, I, uh, yeah, pirate lord, ghost captain, yay. This is going to look great in the papers. Ramsey. That's all I say. I hate this. 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 Tech 10 will walk over and you'll see him pull out um, some irons looks at Ramsey and nods and then walks over to Zora cuffs open uh, in his hand are the cuffs necessary yes uh, Ramsey will just sigh and and kind of wave. <laughs> wave them away. Okay. And she'll fucking allow herself to be cuffed, I guess. No! Tech 10 will put on the cuffs. And then it will attach a chain leading like a lead with the chain. Uh, Miss Zora. If you please follow me. I hope I get the comfy cell. Unfortunately, we do not have comfy cells. I apologize. Uh, as it says, right. as you guys walk away. Can I have cup with change? Okay. Can we please start talking about negotiations now? That should will look towards Ramsey. This was the best decision given what you have done. She'll sternly look him in the eyes. Please do not fumble 
the rest of the negotiations you have set up. And she will stand up out of her chair and then walk out of the room. Um, Karen's all just won't say anything. We'll get up and walk out of the room as well. Man will turn <sighs> towards Ramsey and go, As entertaining as this is, I will be back for the negotiations. I look forward to seeing how you dig yourself out of this one. I have faith in you. And then he'll give you a wink. And then he'll leave. Uh, before on his way out, can Ramsey go, can you bring like a, a pint or two? That might help. Of what? What's the strongest ale you have? <laughs> <laughs> he'll smile and walk away. All that's left is King Heron, Princess Tessa, Jest, and Syrian. Syrian will sit back down and he'll put his face in his hands. I I trust you, Lord Ramsay. I saw you were in a tough spot and this was all I could do. I am sorry for your friend, but the people wouldn't feel safe trusting you. Uh, otherwise, my lord. <sighs> Nothing becomes when we're divided. While I you agree, start. you should also understand each of their intentions. We should come up with a battle plan for this. All right. So, uh, Ramsey, you're going to be ta set um, talking to Heron, Syrian, and Jest uh, to try to talk up a battle plan. Um, sorry, Heron. Uh, what's everyone else going to do? Was I able to get my cup? No. Oh. Can Grandma go go to where Zora is? Ah, uh, yes. Grandma could have walked away with Zora. Grandma, Grandma is going with Zora. We just lost a party member. We're not losing another one. Well, I don't have a harmonica on me. <laughs> I have a flute. Grandma's very upset at the breaking of the party right now. Very, very upset. Uh, I will tell you, uh, Tiki. Uh, how long do you plan on uh, spending it? Sort of? I'm just. I, I want to get a feel of where she's going, and then make sure that she is as settled as possible. Um, probably not, like, a long, long time, but... Uh, Ramsey, roll me a persuasion check. This is gonna be, essentially, how Zora will be treated. Can I help him with this? No. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, uh, yeah. So, uh, Zora's treated very respectfully. Okay. Um, she's given a cell. They all look the same, they're all really bad barnacles growing off of like like in the corner and on the walls and stuff like that um like even like like uh sea snails just like kind of like slinging around and stuff like that uh like little critters just around in the area um you'll see tech 10 like uh look towards the guards like clean this place up please and uh ensure he looks very sternly at the guards. Ensure she has a proper meal. I will be back to make sure she is not being mistreated. And then he will walk out as the like Zora will be put in the uh, cell. Uh, while 
they are in the cell. She's like kind of like her chain is like through a loop in the wall. Um, so she's like stuck to the wall as they're like uh, chipping away at the barnacles and like cleaning up the critters and stuff like that. Uh, you see like one rush off and it looks like he's going to the actual main dining hall um, to get good food. Um, and then after about 30 minutes, they get the place clean. Uh, there's good food. They, uh, with the chain lead, like walk Zora to the front of the um, bars and then like they take off the handcuffs and then nod and like they s stand on guard. There's like Zora's the only one in like the whole prison. <laughs> and the prison's like directly under the castle or this jail. I'm going to reach in my bag and pull out, like, a, a skein of yarn that's not even, like, made into anything. It's just still wrapped up. Um, also, Zora, you have been... All of your inventory has been taken away. Do I have my harmonica? No. My harmonica? All of your inventory has been taken away. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to pull out just a skein of yarn that's still wrapped up and hasn't been made into anything yet. <laughs> You'll see the guards like look as you start to pull something out and just like, "Ma'am, uh and then they'll look, it's just yarn." Um Oh, oh, okay. And then they'll like step slowly backwards but keeping their eyes on you. Oh fuck, I'm going to try to do this anyways. I can't help it. I have to. Uh, but while I am like rummaging in my bag for the skein of yarn, I am going to um, slide the flask into the yarn in a way that it is hidden. Make a slide of hand check at <laughs> yep. disadvantage. Yeah, 100%. 15. Oh my god, oh. are you serious? Can I give myself guidance before I do this? Sorry, you did not declare it, and I will. Yeah, that's fine. Have to be hard in this particular situation. At fucking disadvantage, I still almost got you the goddamn flask. Uh, as that happens, uh, one of the guards will rush up. Oh, oh sorry, I'm sorry, ma'am. Um, we're gonna have to ask you to leave, or we're gonna have to also uh, incarcerate you. Uh, we can't have you giving the uh, prisoner anything. Uh, especially I just wanted to give her something to... soft to put her head on uh clear like the, the flask top is like can easily be seen um, that booze is something soft to put her head on damn it uh sorry ma'am uh if you will this way please I'll be back for you Zora She'll, uh, she'll kind of wink at you. Oh, fuck. Stupid fucking guards. Alright, they, uh, escort you out. Um, unfortunately, we won't, uh, not be allowing you to visit, um, anymore. Um, and if any of your friends try this as well, uh, we will bar everyone from this invitation. Uh, please have a great night. Then he will close the door shut. I almost got you the flask, Sora. I tried. That's, that's okay. I appreciate you crying. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to start uh, fucking singing she sea shanties. Okay, cool. Um, while that's going on, what is uh, Darius Sharp and Demir doing? Um, Sharp got pretty bored to sit in the corner pretty fast, so he started meditating. Sitting there trying to figure out what he did to piss Rev off. You're roboting. Yeah, oh, you're cutting out bad. Can you hear me now? Hold on, let me check. Can you hear me? Am I doing this thing? Hello? Oh, weird. I can't hear her at all. Can
I might have Nick, I might have to hard refresh. Tensions are high. <laughs> okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah you're much better. better. Cool. Um, I said Dyrus is very on edge. Like, most of this whole time he's probably had his fist clenched, like, wanting to punch somebody, but didn't. Um. I think, if anything, he would just try to be thinking of a way to help get all of us out of this mess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Demir's just chilling. Demir's worried about the around. family getting destroyed. Yeah, he's like, he's like first, first dad punished little brother, and and mom's in jail. <laughs> Not that family, but okay. Uh, <laughs> wow. Hey, cool. I mean, his uh, other family abandoned him, so... so Ramsey, we're gonna, we're gonna go into uh, your negotiation talks, uh, or strategy meeting. Sure. Uh, so, start it off. Okay. Oh. Actually, what? actually, uh, let's take a break now. I think that's okay. a good point of taking a break. Okay. <laughs> that way, thoughts can be yeah. brought together. Getting out the notepad. So, uh, what's it called? I think you should definitely try to uh, leverage Marcarius as the pirate lord and try to get the armies of the pirates to see if there's any way you can get them to reinforce the city in case of another attack or something along those lines. Yeah, I mean, I'm worried about two things. That... I think that getting him to agree to some kind of, like, protection would be good. Well, uh, some sort of definitely mutual peace agreement between the two. And keep in mind, pirate deals are definitely a thing. So if you want to make it an unbreakable vow so everyone else isn't worried about him eventually, like, betraying us again. Yeah, might be like I would say definitely get the orb back. That's, that's, like, number one priority so you know he can't just enter whenever... Um, like, I, I don't know if you should try to get it where he, like, isn't allowed to come back to Atlantia, just to be safe. It might be a safe route, but it also might be beneficial to increase trade routes with other countries and everything else, especially if that you had the insurance of a uh, pirate lord who can ensure that no one else would make trouble or break deals in your sea. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if I just get into it. Oh, I'm going to grab my I think definitely. So, at the beginning of this session, I didn't think uh, this was possible. Um, <laughs> however, uh, oh, no, the negotiation's going bad. Yeah. Um, but. <laughs> The thing I'm specifically talking about is uh, we actually have a very real chance of two party members leaving the party. Um, yeah. So. Please keep that in mind when uh, coming to negotiations. Obviously, this is meta, but like, yeah. Uh, that is more of the part that I did not uh, think was a high chance, uh, but now it's kind of shifted pretty hard. Uh, 
Uh, but it's awesome. I don't know about that. I think this is awesome. This is so such great RP, such cool storytelling. Uh, it's just super tense, super <laughs> intense. Yeah, I'm trying to calm myself down, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Tiki is not happy. Yeah. I mean, it's understandable and stuff like that. It's just like, holy shit. I didn't think that this was going to be this huge of a session. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're getting out of getting to traveling this time, but. Well, we'll see. We shall see. <sighs> Can't believe you fuck. I can't believe Joey RP'd in chat to piss off Raph. It's great. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Trying, I'm in the middle of trying to think, figure things out, and it's like, ah, we pissed him off. Cool. In the worst way possible. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Literally the worst way possible. It's also because you guys don't know his ambitions. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, if you talk to Sharp instead of just constantly trying to disintegrate him. I mean, that is not a rev issue at all. That is a Sharp issue. Yeah, you're, cr you're completely correct. Oh. <sighs> It's great to have none of the good talking people here. <laughs> They're able to do much. Yeah. I mean, you're a charisma based caster. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's not my fault you didn't pick <laughs> persuasion <laughs> as your yeah. proficiency. That's, that's true. <laughs> I'm pretty good at persuasion. I just failed both of those checks really hard. You know who's great at persuasion? Zora? No. Well, no. Yeah, she's okay. Well, I don't know. Well, he's good at getting what he wants. Oh, deception, I guess, is his better stat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, Rev has a 9 in persuasion, though. Yeah. He has a 13 at deception. Shame we pissed him off. <laughs> I'm open to advice here. I mean, for obvious reasons, I can't say anything. No, I know you can't. <laughs> yeah, because you've also pissed off the council. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of going how the uh, Arcarius, the like, pirate lord debate went or like yep. conversation went yep yeah we're real great at this Words. well it's more people's actions are causing the fucking things you can do to become minimal um yeah god he's <laughs> who yeah Mark Yarius. <laughs> oh, who knows what could happen? I know. Who knows how he would be? <sighs> you know what? Make me a D100 roll. On a 20 and below, I'll give you a little bit of insight. This is the time. It's not going to want to work for me, huh? Yep. Yeah. 50. 50. Yeah, yeah that's not. No. Well, no, that, that's cool. Uh, I have one thing. I just don't know how I'm going to use it. Well, I mean, you can talk to your party. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I have like one one kind of card I can still use that I haven't used in a long time. Okay. Is, is that I have a I have a birthday twenty that I haven't used. You do have a birthday twenty. Yeah. 
and I've been holding on to it for important shit. <laughs> this seems like important shit. Yeah. I will tell you because of the nature of this, the 20 can help. You still have to say the right things. I'm great at that. Yeah. Because the DC goes up and down based off of what is said. I figure. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, fuck, how am I? I have to figure out how to get the council to agree to not just wanting to hold her prisoner forever to ensure he doesn't do anything. Um, so many moving pieces I have to account for. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> I have to make sure he's not fucking pissed off enough to just go on a rampage. Hi, Rachel, if you'd like to join the yeah, what the gonna, fuck we're going to do talk. Uh, Rachel, you can only hear you in the background. Not today. Okay. Yeah, that's how you can do that. Um, so far, my greatest... Rachel, I, I have so many things going on, I don't have time to look at the dog. Um... I mean, like, the, my, my best idea is try to figure out, I think, getting them to know what an unbinding pirate deal is and seeing if we can work with that. As far as what we want, I guess we'll find out here soon. So some along the lines of the power of the bond of the pirate contract and uh, it would open up other opportunities to work with other pirate lords in the future to not only secure the defense of our city but to uh, secure the defense of our merchants as well as help us travel. Yeah, I guess one of the, one of the things would be making sure that all of the pirates aren't allowed to attack this There's city. no way I can get them to... First of all, pirates. They don't want to read yeah, a shit no, like that. But like... As far as he goes and his... Here's another thing. He doesn't have his full might of his crew. We did kill his crew. Yeah, well, let's not go we. Um, I killed his crew. Yeah. Except for Bucky. Meaning that... How is he going to... If, if How is he going to ensure he protects this place if he doesn't have his full might and if fucking the other lords find out about his weakness right now. I, I mean, the biggest thing for you, for Ramsey and Ramsey's people would be making sure that he won't, and if you could get the other pirate lords... But how is that beneficial to him? To not attack the city, but you can offer trade instead. But for I... them being allowed to come to the city to do trades or whatever. Can I? Fuck, I can't help you. Okay, never mind. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love it. You can't, though. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I can't. I really can't. I have to be very impartial here. Yep. I mean, that's okay. not something he gives a shit about, though. The only thing okay. he gives a shit about is the so person. We're going to do, to give Nick more time, we're going to do uh, the hot springs. <laughs> um, so you guys can talk amongst yourself in the background. Um Grandma, would you? Speaking of the hot springs, Grandma, would you let Dyrus know or no? Would I let Dyrus know what? That you're gonna go see Rev, or would you? It would it just be like you? I mean, I told the party that I'm going to talk to Rev to like reassure them that okay, Rev okay. isn't just you... fucking gone. Sh Sharp is gonna say, "Can you apologize for me?" Dyrus will smack Sharp on the back of the head. No, you're oh. going to apologize. for properly when he comes back. Well, yeah, but a pre-apology doesn't hurt anything. I didn't mean to hurt his feelings. Sharp, sweetheart, I think you need to spend a little bit more time thinking about the consequences of your actions. Go sit back down. 
go back to the corner. You guys can keep talking. It's still gonna be some time to move. Oh. Oh, you fucking brought him here? Oh, wait. But I cleared this map. Nope. <laughs> no, wait. I think I might have two bad houses. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of dead people in this bath house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what where he that? died. Who? No, yeah. no, this isn't where he died. Because remember, he died. And no, he chased died. after. Uh, did he die in the chair? Yeah. Yes, he died in Fuck. the chair. Yeah. Um... Oh, there we go. Bad house. This one? Yeah, that's the one. Alright, cool. Um... <coughs> Put on, you know, some nice calming music. Yeah. So as you enter... As you enter... Uh... Uh, the bathhouse. Uh, it took you a while, Tiki, to find your way here because you've never been to this place before. Uh, you see a female, red tiefling, standing by the door. Uh, she looks like Bayet. Um, her spell book is uh, satcheled. Uh, she goes, oh, are you here to enjoy the bathhouse? For a relaxing day at the spa, maybe? Taking care of yourself? Um actually here to meet someone oh well she'll like just sort behind you and see quite a few patrons um do you have a reservation or i i do not i didn't know that i needed one oh well um if you're looking to enter without a reservation i believe we should have a spot uh 30 minutes It's it's quite imperative that I get in to meet with this person. They might not be here in 30 minutes. Um, and which person? His name is Rev. He's another tiefling. Oh! The person that helped us and saved us a, lo a while ago. Um, yes. Uh, oh! You must be Tiki. Uh, I... He said you would be coming. Uh, he is in uh, the last bath. Thank you so much. I like grasp her hand and shake it with both of my hands. She shakes it and nods. Enjoy your stay and she'll hand you like uh, bath robes <laughs> and a towel. It's <laughs> great. Um, I am not, no, I'm not going to change. I'm just going right. to head directly to where Rev is. Cool. So as you walk in, it's uh, like there's very relaxing music playing. There's uh, hot. There's like some hot springs, some cold. You just see like water pouring out of what appears to be uh, like jars. Um, it's like very nice and fragrant here. You smell lavender in the air. Um, like every now and then, the smell of like fresh cut grass. And you like look in the water. It's beautifully clear. Um, some of the pools have like. There's different pools. Like, there's one that's just, like, uh, rose petals. You see, like, one that's, like, some kind of, like, grass-looking material. Um, uh, you see, like, the water in one of them is, like, turned slightly a tint of green with, like, grass hanging inside of it. Um, and as you get to the back uh, hot springs, uh, you'll just see Rev. He's just chilling in a normal hot spring. Towel on his face. Um, uh, uh, where towel on his lap, like relax on the edge, like <sighs> I'm gonna like take note as I walk past that this would be a nice place to be if everything wasn't falling apart. <laughs> and then I'm gonna like gently like, call out because i'm assuming like his eyes are closed like he's trying to relax so i'm gonna gently call out and be like i made it riv oh oh huh? oh huh? you'll see him like move his head up and then the towel that's on his eyes like drops into the water <laughs> oh tiki welcome you're not gonna partake I wasn't planning to. I, I came here to talk. We've got we've got a lot of other matters going on with the group too right now. Yeah. Uh 
What Sharp said went way past the line. You're not wrong. And uh, you don't understand. Then help me understand, Rev. What he said to me is unforgivable. Nothing is unforgivable, Rev. He will look at you with a very serious face. I do not believe that. I'll take a deep breath. I came here to relax. And then when you sent your message, it made me think, you know, you tend to be wise sometimes, so I'd be willing to hear you out. But essentially, he talked negatively about my life's mission. And while I can't tell you what it is, in all of my 170 years being alive, I've never been so disrespected. I hear that, Rev, and I planned to come here and tell you that the boy is young and stubborn and dumb and doesn't think about things, because that is who Sharp is, and he's been through a lot, and that's not to say that the rest of us haven't, but... He's lost a lot, and he needs good role models in his life, and he needs somebody that's gonna smack him over the head when he does something stupid like that, but still be there for him. And he really is truly sorry, Rev. Like I said, he doesn't know what he's saying when he says it. And he wants to tell you that himself. And I can't pretend to know how disrespectful that was or how hurtful it was. Um, I think you can. It's almost as if he's disrespected your God in the worst way possible. That is along the lines of what he's done to me, as well as insulted my life's mission. So, and yeah, that's. I will not be a figure that will help him or help raise him. I think that's his own journey. However, are you going to give up on Zora and Ramsey and Iris and Demir for that reason too? Because one stupid kid said one stupid thing. Uh, for the first time, you'll actually see him doubt himself. You know, think really hard on what you said. <sighs> It is, at least with this party, it's very rare that through RP you guys hit a natural 20. Um, but you definitely have. <laughs> and Rev will go, no, I won't abandon them. But to that fault, 
I'm not here. It's raised sharp. And to this point, he will not be someone I help. I will help everyone else but him. Can you maybe refrain from trying to kill him actively? I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to help him either. Okay. Um, and then from this you get the understanding that Rev's reached a point with Sharp where he's just going to be true neutral. Yep, so he's so. done with him. He's not going to help him. He's not going to hurt him. Um, Which the optimist in Tiki thinks we can work on, so it's fine. Make yeah. an insight check. It's good to be optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Are you understand very well that he is truly neutral towards uh, Sharp. Oh, I get it. I he get will it. more than likely not be ever moving from this position. Um, Nothing stays the same forever. <laughs> we will see. Um, Naturally, I don't say any of yeah, this. Yeah, no, I got you. I got you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Rebel, be like, <sighs> all right. Well, I've been able to relax. What are the little ones up to? And then he'll get up and then, like, get his clothes. And you'll see him go to the changing room, come back, and then walk out with you and get caught up on the situation. I'm going to start it with Zora's in prison. Sounds about right. And let him know that, um, the, what is the word that I'm looking for? The talks, the, uh. The negotiations are starting, and uh, Ramsey could really use him there. All right, cool. So uh, you guys are having that conversation as you guys are making your way downtown. Uh, <laughs> are we walking fast? Our faces past? And you're homebound. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me see. I believe this is the council room we're in. That is the council room. Yes, that room. is the council room we're in. All right, cool. Yep. All right, cool. Um, so now we will begin the... We got Rev back. Strategy. It feels like we're making progress. I'm glad it feels positive. It's nice. All right. So, Ramsey, start it off. Okay. Ahem. So, what? What are the things that we need or that we want to gain from this meeting? I have two goals in mind. One, I think that we could gain a protection of sorts from the sea level. And there is a way to do that in which he could not break it unless he kill unless he wants to die. To that point, we should probably also get our orb back. Just will look at Ramsey and he'll sigh. I trust you, my lord. I do, but the way you speak I cannot trust. There is something Go ahead. The way you've spoken today as and acted today as 
my opinion, greatly crippled us. From bloodshed, I want to be better and stronger. I want our people to feel safe. Then why not arrest the man, my lord? Tell us why. True, don't give us these negotiation tactics. Tell us truly why you just did it. You said you had him subdued. Truly, I wanted my friend to have her moment. I wanted us to be able to not risk an, a siege. As you say that, he'll just sigh and say, like, <sighs> Letting your friend have their moment, sure, fine. But continuing to talk about the people as if that was your first intention. I am leaving, and then he'll walk out the door. Great. <laughs> Starting off strong. And then Syrian will also stand. <sighs> My lord, I will back you, but I cannot be a part of this strategy meeting. Um, I believe you have dug your own grave, and I will like to see you out of it. Dig your own way out of it. Um, whatever you say goes, I trust you. Um, because you have done much for us before, but... As the head of the council, I am torn. Good day, sir. And he will leave the council room as well. This time, it's just the only ones left is your brother and sister, in which they will... Heron will just let out a big sigh and be like, Well... Brother, you see the delicate line I have to deal with every day now. I will be so excited when you become king. And I do not have to deal with that. Assuming you still can. You know, that that is the major point of contention here, huh? Yes. Uh, Ramsey's going to kind of relax a little bit and like slump a little. Would you like to take a seat, sister? I don't think they'll care. Shoo. Hi. You are... You are... Idiot. <laughs> That's fair. Don't take a seat. <sighs> She'll like, uh, Heron will be like, I am quite hungry. Should we eat? I could go for something. He'll turn around and he'll like, uh, please, can you bring us some food and uh, food for his friends as well? Um, all, all of you, the council meeting is adjourned. Uh, just feel free to eat at the table. Please clean up after yourselves. Um, and then, like, about 30 minutes later, food will be brought. Uh, Rev and Tiki will show up at this time. I'm just going to gesture for them to sit down. Like... Please join, join our family meal. Yeah. So I've been caught up. It's been going great. I've heard. Well, you know. I I don't have much to say to you, Ramsey. <laughs> That's fine. Thanks for being here, bud. No problem. From what I've heard, <laughs> to me it sounds like you're too conflicted. You know, 
On one hand, everyone wants to see just a hard stop, I assume, an execution and put back to the way things were. On the other hand, I would like to try to, you know, get something out of this. Rebel, raise an eyebrow. Are we in a position to get something? Well, Zora's in the dungeons, so. How, how does that get us anything? Because I assume he would want her back. But doesn't he also know she's your friend? So shouldn't you want her back, too? Yeah, I guess I can kind of stop the whole, ah, big, eh. But doesn't that put you guys, wouldn't that put you guys at a cross or something? Oh, you really have caught up. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a, yeah, yeah. Brother, you tell me. People just want to see him executed, right? Honestly, our people want to feel safe. Well, he definitely poses a potential threat. Free. Um, I don't know. To me, he was caught, so then... To me, it just doesn't make sense why he wasn't just caught, to be honest. Um, however, I, like I said, I trust you. I believe you. Um, what you say makes sense. Him not being in bonds will possibly make him more likely to help us. Um, however, to that aspect, if she really is his daughter, him seeing his daughter would just enrage him. So that kind of goes backwards from the step forward we've taken. Uh, I don't know. it. It's I all mean... over the place, and as well as the... The side of the people, as long as he's free, they're possibly not going to feel safe. And the da and then the damage he's done, the buildings he's destroyed, the people he's killed, the lives he's ruined, just in this battle alone, let to not even to take into account that he's a pirate lord. The Pirate Lord of the Known Seas. So what other crimes has he done? And we had the chance to punish him for possibly all of it. As a king that seems so foolish to have not just taken him in custody. There's so many other kingdoms that would have persecuted him. That could have leveraged our kingdom so much. Would it have been leveraged? It feels more like it would have been a target. For whom? You ever heard the saying, there's always a bigger fish? Yes, brother. And if we wanted to break out and join the rest of the world, this could have been the best moment. All of the port seas would have trusted us. We could have instantly possibly opened trade everywhere. Are you trying to say that you you think the credit from this is what we stand to gain the most? No. That is just one part that could have helped us. No, I... I, I the I, main I... thing is our people would have had someone to blame, essentially. Someone to feel like, hey, our king managed to help us win this glorious battle. He led the charge and captured the great Marcarius. Can you not see how that could have been stories of how amazing of a king you would have been? How the people will have felt about you? You look like a fool, brother. The king who defeated Marcarius and just let him go to then smack everyone in the face and say, hey, we should talk about this.
that is how it runs off to everyone else. Your sister will throw like a fish head at you. Told you you're an idiot. <laughs> hey, don't throw fish at the table. <laughs> and who's gonna make me the fool? <laughs> She'll giggle to herself. I'm sorry, Bubbles. You know, we're not, I guess we're not respectful to fish in this house. <sighs> Revel shrug. Why not play into it? How do you mean? I mean, if you're a foolish king, then own it. Maybe that's maybe that can help you. I have no idea, but if you believe this to be true, just stick by it. See it through. I don't really care what my reputation is. I don't either. I'll help you regardless, buddy. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. So, if what my, my companion says, if I, if let's say, fine, this could have been something. You're right. But I didn't do that. I can see two things. Maybe two things. One thing. We convince him to stand down. Let's say he, he in air quotes, dies here. You could still get that glory of being the current king who made the, that decision. Making the council more happy. Heron will look at you with a, like, oh, really look and just be like, Brother, Here. try to lie to me right now. I don't like water. Roll a deception check at disadvantage. Brother, yeah. the most simplest of people could have seen through that lie. Just, I do not think you can pull off a feat of, of cover-up operations and, and lies and deceits, brother. So don't try it, please. He, like, giggles to himself. Hmm. If that is which the way you wish to go, like he's giggling the whole time, I will gladly watch. Okay, option one is bad. Got it. Option two, we do what I want to do. Um, the why don't we, with with the help of my currently dungeon friend. See if we can gain some protection. And by that, I mean a special little deal. Where is... Oh, Demir, Demir, you're supposed to be at the table. Yeah, you. We're, we're having fun eating stuff. Okay. Hold on. I can't move, Demir. Uh... Does, does Demir still have a tattoo on his arm? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh god. So oh god. Virus like, also does. Oh god. From what? I don't remember. Oh um, god. Come here. Lift up your sleeve. Oh, okay. Well, we'll pretend to be at the table because I cannot move this token. Um, but he'll show the pirate tattoo, and I'm assuming it moves because it means that he's linked to Zora. I mean, it's just a tattoo. It's just the tattoo. Oh, yeah. It doesn't move until a deal is done or something like that. Oh, okay. So, that's a special kind of tattoo, brother. Um, it means he's initiated in a pirate deal before. Brother, we, we know about the pirate tattoos. Continue. Okay, Can, uh, okay just say that next time. Um, if we can get Marcarius to be like, to, to agree to a deal um, in protection for the city, right? With a pirate deal, it would mean he could never break it. And why would he protect the city? Because his daughter asks him. And why wouldn't he just let her die, or let her be imprisoned, or just attack the city then. You are putting the city in the middle of him and his dot. I, uh, well, you know, that wasn't the initial plan, but now she's in the dungeon. If she is the one who asks it. A man who is known to be very ruthless will just bend to his daughter like that. Uh, Iris will try and... <sighs> she is all he has left. He will just eat. You really are a fool, brother. But we'll see it through. You, you say I can't pull off any fancy stunts. This is what I got. I trust you. I don't have any scheming or, or you know, fan fancy wordplay. I have oh. connections. Yes. Yes. It just doesn't make sense to me. So, like I said, I'll trust you. You have defeated this guy, so you must know more about him. And I trust you. I truly do. But, uh, yeah. I... Hey, worst case scenario, I just kind of take worst the fall. Worst case scenario, we die. Like, so. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll kill him, but. Yeah. Now, how many of us will he kill first? It doesn't matter. All right, let's Can go let's... negotiate tomorrow, what? I guess. Uh, I will retire to my quarters. I love you, brother. He, like, goes up and gives you a deep hug. Hey. You know, maybe you should stay king. I'm not too good at this. He'll say in Atlantean. I wish you have a great night's sleep, and you, you figure it out. And then <laughs> you'll see the princess nod and giggle to herself and walks out of the room as well. Remember when we used uh, it's just the party in the in the room now? Yep. Remember when we used to just go like kill goblins? Uh good times. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, uh everybody, you can long rest. Uh Rachel try moving that token. Of Demir that Yay. I put on. Okay. I don't know why it didn't work because it was the copy and paste of the last one. Um, put all your HP and stuff on it. Um, so, Nick, tell hey, me how you're going to no, I gotta... set up the negotiations and stuff, and then that's how it'll be set up. Um, put that back. Could I? 
Okay, could I get... Uh, is the negotiations be. with the full council or no? Yes, it has to be with the full council. Of course it does. Uh, uh, with the exception of need, obviously. The exception of what? This guy. Okay. Um... And so just the thought, but I'm assuming it would be a bad idea to mention that we didn't actually beat Marcarius. He surrendered once he recognized the Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Like, out of character, obviously, but, you know. Um. <laughs> yeah, they already don't like me. Uh, yeah, uh, that, that might not be a good thing, then. No. Uh, hey, Ramsey will kind of in the morning... Go off to uh, go off to man, man obeyance. Can't find him. He's not at the tavern. Nope. Fuck. Okay, you know who can? My good friend Tiki. Who am I finding? Man obeyance. What am I saying to them? I want, I am like, I want you to be like, hey man, can we use your tavern for negotiations, please? I would forward that message. Before to you, this has to be done at the council. This, if this is done anywhere else besides the council, you will. I can't just ask a question. I'm asking for, for like, if it's okay. This is for the council part. Okay, all right, all right. The right. council, you're already on really thin water. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna say no. But if you do pull this as a stunt, they will. This has to be done in the council. Okay, 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 okay. Um, all right. And I'll say you just know that no spell slot expended or anything like that. Okay. Okay. okay, well, good morning. Hope we all slept well. Um, this isn't play yet. I'm just saying, like, how, how do you plan on going with the proceedings? I will, you plan I, on bringing, having Zora sitting at the chair in chains? Are you going to have no, her, like, fucking... coming up later? Are you going to have... Are you going to talk first and then, like... Um, definitely not the chains. I think that she should be there, maybe just hanging out. Okay. Um, because it'll lower his... He's not going to be on guard if she... How are you going to have her not in chains? Do you want me to, like, RP, try to ask them to not fucking chain her? You can try. Okay. I think my main point would be, he's gonna be on guard if she's there waiting in chains versus and not willing to talk versus if she is just there and not, you know, doesn't look to be captive. He's not gonna be up in arms. We stand... It, it's less of a chance for... Good things to come if our bargaining ship looks to be... The, uh, negotiations won't follow through if the thing he wants looks to be in pain, captured, or hurt. Is that all you're going to say? Uh, yeah. Is that all that's going to happen? Well, I need to, we need to discuss where the fuck to do it. What do you Are mean? they planning on doing it in here, in the castle? Yes, in the, in the council room, in the castle. Um... Well, if that is what it is, DC 20 persuasion check. This is kind of an important one. <sighs> Am I... Let's 
see. I have a four to that. Don't think I have anything I can add besides the other thing. Can I get help or no? I already asked. You already asked. Yep, that's what I. That's why I asked. This is just you. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I wasn't aware that other people could have chimed into that. Yeah, that's uh, why I asked it that way. Fuck me. Ashton will look. She will stay in irons. <sighs> okay. You're right. Cool. So, anything else? Because we're going to go straight into it then. Team? Rachel? Yeah? You're an active part. We would love your input. Mm. I mean, no, I don't, I don't think it would help if she was in chains. <laughs> I mean, that's that's way that has that that already passed. What? Like, they want to do it here. I don't really feel like we have other choices. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't... yeah placing that is that's not a negotiation. Yeah. yeah. I'm more asking how you, when are you going to present Zora, how are you going to present her? Um, because those are things that affect the negotiation, stuff like that. I if mean, you're going I think... to have people come in one at a time, are you going to have Mercari show up for it? Like, all of those things are the factors that I'm looking for. As I think as... that it should... I mean, I think Zora should come in probably at the end. Yeah, as well as I think ship. that having her in chains is more impactful depending on what your goal here is. I know yeah, you don't want I, her in chains, I but this is a negotiation. Because if he sees her in chains first, it could definitely backfire the entire thing. So him not seeing her is a better idea then? Yeah, because you can. It, say, that's hey, a hit or miss thing though, because that's, that's, like, very hit or that's miss. like holding a lie until the last moment, right? So you have to decide because it could completely undo everything that was done. You know what I mean? So like that's why that's why I'm asking. Like if you want to it, put an order to things. Yeah, I would this say is would, your time. It would depend on negotiations because if he is like, no, I'm not going to agree to anything, then you can be like, well, then your daughter is going to have to serve for like the damage you've done. So you think. That's, I'm not gonna say that, fuck. No, I, um, I'm saying that's like last, like worst case scenario if he's not going to agree to any terms. I'm, I'm thinking like midway, maybe. I think we establish ground rules, and, the, the, and then like, you know. Because we could say that uh, Zora, well we could say that Zora has to say uh, sort of life sentences that would be put upon him. Unless he's willing to make a deal to serve his own sentence in a different way. Granted, you have to think about how he would benefit because he's a pirate lord, so you have to think about his benefit. And, that. and why would he not just attack and try to get her back? Exactly. Um, I mean, it could be to the point where uh, if he tries to attack Zora, I could say, no, stop. <laughs> and just like, if uh, someone has to pay for your actions kind of thing. I mean, that is a... That's super meta. Uh, Say that. That's a well, super I, meta. Yeah, is one hundred percent willing to do that, and that—that's why it's like super meta. Yeah, that's fair. Um. Yeah, just because he has two characters in this instance. Uh, yeah, matter. I'm really trying to play from one side rather yeah. than the other. Yeah. Um. So. Did I? I mean, I. Do you think the consensus? Not. 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 
should we go midway? Is what I'm feeling. Anybody else? Yeah. Oh, I would midway. See how he's so I've established acting. ground rules. I have uh, Z shows up midway, um, which obviously gives you the ability to move it sooner or later. Fair. Um, um, so that was far. Gonna, as, as far, far as people walking in, is it going to be a full council when he walks in, or is it going to be him first? Or is it going to be some people here? Like, is it going to be you and the party here? And you know, I mean, yeah, like, I would probably say us and the party, and then have the council kind of show up more after he's or like after he's here. Maybe we should have Heron with us. Yeah. I'd say let's have let's have uh, Jest here. Heron and the party first. Okay. And then him and then the council can come the rest of them. Oh shit, man doesn't like him. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, what about man? I have had yeah. no chance to talk to man, have I? Nope. You have zero chance to talk to him before. Awesome. Um We'll have man come in before the council or before the rest of the council. Okay. So maybe th yeah, three steps to this. Okay. Okay. Um. Cool. So, anything else? Any other kind of layers you want to try to add? Negotiation. Did you want food, liquor? Anything oh, else? I I did ask man to bring ale. And we'll see what happens with that. True. Uh, as far as what I can control, we'll have, we'll have, yeah, we'll have food. Okay. Food will be there already. Yeah. Or will be presented after negotiations or during. Uh, we'll have, let's have, let's have it at the start. What else can I prepare about the room? Is there a guard stationed around the room? Of course. Yeah. That is going to be something that's not not, not going to no. Not negotiable. Okay. No. Fuck no. <laughs> yeah. One uh, of the most dangerous men is coming to the castle. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess the last thing would be like the message, right? Mercarius, like getting him the messenger. Oh no, the messenger's been sent. He knows that there's a meeting and everything. Okay, he knows where. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay, I think anybody else think of any any last minute things I can throw in here, as far as like how I prepare the room or whatever. As far as preparing the room, well, I got it depends. Are you trying to go for like more we're, uh, we're deals friendly. with them? We're friendly. We're going for deals. Because uh, if you're going for deals, you might want to. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking maybe banners or something to show the wealth of your kingdom and why it's smart to ally. But if he's a pirate lord, he might just he steal doesn't too. Fuck, dude. Fair enough. You know what? I will have. A, I will have. A map out. Okay. I will tell you. Go ahead. Because for some reason you're not here. You do have Dyrus and Tiki, who are both leaders of the stuff. So if you want to try to use that in some way. No Mercurius responds to power, so the power of uh, multiple kingdoms might be enough to interest him. Okay, 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 okay. Am I gonna have to... Um, am I allowed to add seats to this? Uh, they'll have to stand next to you. It's how it's gonna play. Okay. Just like uh, the princess is standing next to Heron. Okay. Um, where are they placing? Where are they placing Mark Area? Oh, he's there. Okay. 
this is more so if they have the do they have the ability to talk in this room? Why yeah, would yeah, they yeah. have the ability to talk in this room? Okay, 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 okay. Fuck. Rev doesn't play to any of that. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll have Dyrus and Tiki with me. Um, the mayor of your kingdom's falling to the ground. You're not helpful. Um, my kingdom might be gone. Sharp clan doesn't really help here. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at my party. Um, Rev doesn't have any stature that I can play to, at least as far as, like, kingdom stuff goes. As far as yeah, as far as I know, he doesn't have anything kingdom wise to play to. To lead his importance, but he'd be good. Can I have two is it two people with me? Mm -hmm. Period. Period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd probably say Dyrus and Tiki, because they do have stature. And I mean I would say Zora but Zora's in handcuffs, so you know she Yeah, okay, I'll have them next to me. Um, and then I guess the rest of the peanut gallery can... Am I, are we sitting down or are we just... Standing? Nope, you're standing. You're standing. Uh, as far as pretext goes, I could say... <sighs> could I have Rev walk with Zora? Yeah, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I'm gonna have Rev walk with Zora too, and kind of just be like. Awesome. With I'll just her. put Rev with her. Okay. Cool. Yep. Uh, and then, yeah, I, yeah. Okay, that'll do it. Okay. Cool. Let us begin. Mm, let's see here. What do I want? Sounds too cheery. <laughs> yeah, I'll just keep it consistent. Oh, wait, maybe this one. Yeah, we'll go with this one. All right, cool. Um, so, we enter the council room where Ramsay is sitting with Tiki and Dyrus at his side. King Heron is sitting with Princess Tessa at his side. And Jess, the Master at Arms, is present. Um, as you guys look into the room, there's like beautiful golden pillars with um, aqua blue ribbons wrapped around them and water pouring off the top into uh, what looks like... Um, like, normally they're, like, braziers of fire, but it's just, like, water goes into it. And it's, like, kind of full to the top, but there's, like, some kind of system that just keeps it continuously flowing uh, that line the room. Um, a nice, the banner of uh, Ramsey's kingdom is, like, posted at the front and the back of the room. You return to the familiar um, table in which the council seats are um, there prepped for council members. Marcarius' seat has been set on the opposite side of the king. Um, Ramsey sitting to his right, uh, the person who established the negotiations. Beautiful rug on the ground. Um, as you see, Marcarius walks in by himself. No other people around with him. He walks in confidently. He looks around the room and immediately sits at the chair opposite of the king. So, oh, I know exactly what music I want for this. I don't like this. Where are you? Where are Welcome you? to the club. <sighs> <laughs> I 
right now with all the music starts. Well, Kiki, it's, it's you and me. Fucking not fuck up. Yay! We're gonna do so good! <laughs> What? Welcome to the table. That's not fun to be at. <laughs> Don't sit down. We're not allowed to sit, Grandma. Yeah, we gotta yeah. stand. Like yeah. bodyguards. Awkwardly. Yeah. Alright. See Marcarius sit down in the chair, put his feet up on the table, and look mm. over. So, I hear you want to parlay. We will speak up. Here we go. Margarius, thank you for joining us. This is King Hera and Princess Dessa. And you will motion to introduce. A wave. Hello there, little ones. To your right is just the master at arms. He'll put his feet down and look at him real nice closely. You're a pretty strong one, you are. Pretty strong looking tight triton, but I think I've seen stronger. He takes his picture. <sighs> is at the hest of those who will join us and those who are here now. We would like to negotiate going forward in the future of our kingdom and how it is presented to the rest of the world. Oh, I'll be excited to see how you negotiate. Like starts running his hand through his beard. Well then, let's see the rest of the negotiator, shall we? Um. So you have man come in next. Yeah. See man Oban walk in uh, with Carrie at his side. He'll look at Marcarius and. He will have a very serious face on us. He will look at Marcarius. Marcarius. And a smile will cross Marcarius' face. Oh, you brought man here to negotiate. This should be fun. And then Marcarius. Our man. Our Marcarius will bring. Pull his scimitar out of his scabbard or his blade out of the scabbard and put it on the table and stare at man. Is this what you're looking for? Okay. And man will... You see him, like, bite back words, pull his weapon and put it on the table and stab it into the table in which Marcarius will... Oh, you managed to get that one. Quite interesting. And men will go. Well, I did bring liquor for everyone. And then uh, barrels of ale will be brought in. In my care. Oh, judging from you, this should be really good. Men will. Oh, of course it is. You know that I know what you like. Then he'll pour. Uh, a mug will be poured in. He'll drink from it. Marcarius will drink from it uh, greedily. And, oh, oh, that really hit the spot. You, you remembered. And man will go. Of course. Um, and then, uh, at this time, I will assume the rest of the council comes out as well as the food. Yes. All right. <laughs> The rest of the council comes out. Seeing Marcarius just sitting there, drinking and eating. 
they will bite their anger back and will sit down as calmly as possible. Well, looks like we have a full house. Let us begin. <sighs> Fuck. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna be so fine. Do we need to take a little break? I'm so stressed out right now. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> we need a three minute, like, get up, stretch, break. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, yeah. let's take three minutes. All right. You guys got this. I believe in you. Oh. You guys excited? No. <laughs> It'll be fine. Mm. It'll be fine. Mm. I'll be fine. I mean, things are going to happen, and there are going to be consequences to those things, and we are going to deal with them one way or another, whether they are good things or bad things or mediocre things. That is how this is going to go, so. I don't know. For me, this is like one of my favorite sessions so far. God. Dun, da, dun, yes. dun, 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 dun. Uh, I'm back. All right. Rachel upstairs. This is essentially like if this was a battle, this is the music that way it would feel like. Mm -hmm. It's a battle of words. <laughs> we have our finest talker here. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it this is another one that like reflects like what it feels like <laughs> man picks up his sword and says lovers quarrel and it alights <laughs> <laughs> As my case picks up his blade, go black scourge, and it alights the flame. <laughs> they jump across the room, attacking each other midair. <laughs> you were supposed to be the chosen one. <laughs> Arr. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody back? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Dyer Phoenix, thought about back. running away. TJ, you here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. All right, then. Let us begin. Fuck. Shit. All right. So everyone looks towards you, Ramsey, to begin the universe. Of course they do, dude. Um... Arcarius, the damages you've caused 
and things you've done to this city are not easily repairable. Why not? You've got money, you've got people. I've also had damages and losses. You do not see me asking you for anything about them. As the one who attacked the city, you are being held responsible. And if not you, then someone else will have to be. I need to make an insight check. Immediately? Based off of what he just said. Yeah. Yeah, that's a real good insight check there, fam. Well, now you know exactly who we're talking about, so... He will look down and look up at you. He'll cock his head slightly confused. And then his eyes will narrow. And his relaxed demeanor will fade away. I see we'll get very serious and look at you. Are you speaking of my daughter? And his blade will light up. Oh, jeez, fuck. Yes, I am. He'll look around the room. You'll have my daughter pay for the deeds I've done. We are here to negotiate, so that does not come to fruition. We have to negotiate for someone who didn't do anything. And you guys call yourself a kingdom? Honorable? I thought I was the pirate here. Out of character, that's really funny. Um... <laughs> And you, he'll point to Tiki, the woman who talked me down, stand for this. You let her be taken away in irons. Tiki's not going to say a single thing. She is unharmed. She is arrested, isn't she? She's being treated respectfully as my friend. Sora did this willingly. You put all your friends in jail, then. Marcarius, we are here to negotiate, so that does not have to happen any longer. As much as you know what that means to you, that means a great deal to me. Persuasion check. DC is 20. Oh, jeez, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Is that how it stands? I cannot receive any help outside of myself because no one else spoke, yep. Is that how it stands? I don't think that Tiki is going to use magic in this negotiations room because of the fact that, number one, people will notice. Number two, it's going to look down upon. But Tiki, if able to speak, is going to say, Zora's the one... Zora's the one in chains right now because we decided to spare your life to give you a chance at a relationship. Dyrus would also speak and say, Zora willingly allowed this so that there may be chance for peace. He will put his hands together in front of you and take a deep breath. You're telling me my daughter 
willingly went into chains. And then he looks at Tiki. And now she decides to speak. I want to see my daughter. Do you think it's I'm Do you if think Zora, it's time or should we tells him herself that she wants him to negotiate and that she willingly put the chain like let them put her in chains, then yeah, I mean that's it is a time. Dyrus has I'm gonna say this from Dyrus' point of view, he has faith in Zora. That Zora would be on our side and would try to help the situation as much, much as possible. I mean, Tiki believes in Zora too, but fuck. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's not much we can do to persuade him than him hearing it from the person himself. Yeah, but we also have to take the risk that he might just start attacking and trying to freeze Zora right then and there. We haven't established anything. Maybe uh, you need to talk back to Marcarius and um, make it uh, known that you're in the position of power and he's not. God. <laughs> I, I think if Zora, though, is on our side, he wouldn't wouldn't attack, per se. Especially with somebody, like, right next to her, like Rev. I don't think he gives a fuck. Um... Because he does still have his, uh... What do you do, Nick? I'll send, I'll be, I'll say, bring her. All right. Zora will be walked in uh, by Rev. Uh, Rev's not holding the lead. The lead's on the ground and just dragging. Yeah. Uh, Rev will wave at Marcarius. <laughs> Marcarius will look at Zora, look at him, then look back to Ramsey. You really put her in chains. And I really need you to be here for these negotiations so that she may no longer be. So you're saying that if I just decide to leave, she would serve my sentence? Marcarius, we both know that's not what we need to happen here. I barely know the girl. Why wouldn't I have that take place? Costs me nothing. And it gets all of the pain and suffering off of me. It doesn't cost you nothing, and you know that. He will narrow his eyes at Tiki. Darling, I'm a pirate lord first. Now, Zora is young. I could see her growing older and outliving the sentence you give her. And then we can make our relationship then. You think she'd come back to you after a hundred years in jail? Why not? We got time. Yeah, I, I, if I get an opinion, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, that you have to pay for my crimes. But wouldn't it be poetic for us? I, I, you know, you you disappear fifty years, mom dies. I yeah, I don't think that's poetic. How is it not? 
the daughter making the ultimate sacrifice for her da. So let's calm down. Your your pops festival. And doesn't just prove your character to walk away from her twice. I don't say that. I don't say that. Oh, s smile and jump on the table. So, what leverage you have? I mean, this situation only seems to benefit me here. I just leave. She takes the fall. Picks up his sword and puts it in a scabbard and stands in the middle of the table. Because Marcarius. It wouldn't be a life sentence. Isn't that better? If it wouldn't be a life sentence? It would be a hanging. Go look around the castle room. Are you daft? You'd hang an innocent person. Some council you are. And you would leave her to die for your own benefit. Now you're starting to think like a pirate. Now daft is one of the nicer things I've been called the last two days, but you would leave her to die for you. Not as a pirate lord. As a man who has just barely regained some semblance of a family. To walk closer and lean. Aye, I will. Weren't you just trying so hard to do anything to get that family back, though? <laughs> Ramsey, make me a persuasion check. I'll let this come down to a roll. DC is still 20. Anyone wants to try to do something, now's the time. I, I, Tiki wouldn't cast magic in this room. And I'm assuming we couldn't use the leverage that half of his crew is dead uh, for the other pirate lords to take advantage of him? Right, that is something I've yet to go for. I would want to bring up the fact that we're not asking him to serve... <sighs> like jail time or be hanged that we want to just have like like we want him to have provide protection and give back the orb and his daughter was free am i what is the am i stop to rolling okay unless you want to say something first but that will modify the dc Marcarius, our negotiations here determine whether or not she would have to die by you refusing or her going free. This is not the opinion of the council. This is the opinion of a friend trying to help out. A friend? What kind of friend are you that would hang their own friend? For someone else's mistakes. A man responsible enough and a friend willing to be incarcerated for her father. And daughter, you're willing to be hanged for me. You know, I would hope that maybe you would think hanging me bad idea? That persuasion check. On. TC twenty one. Right. And 
And at that, a smile will cross his face. <laughs> All I see is a room full of immoral people that are scared. Scared that their precious nation has been attacked quite easily. And they're willing to put the blame on anybody, even an innocent. And he puts his arm back towards Zora. That doesn't seem like someone that I'd align with. Would you? So because of that, I'll have to say no to your negotiations. And he will snap. Everyone, make me a DC 17 wisdom saving throw. Sorry, 18 wisdom saving throw. Don't forget, Rev. Yep. All right, who was that? 21. Wow, crazy. I had the wings in a row. Roll for Zora, please. Uh, man is going to roll this at disadvantage because he was actually caught off guard. Okay. Doesn't Zora have advantage on this too? Or was it only for that one fight? That was for the fight. Okay. Alright, so everyone but Ramsey failed. We're rolling hot today, friends. So everyone but Ramsey failed. Uh, I'll throw a lucky down, why not? Yeah. Roll it. There you go! Alright, so Ramsey and Zora, you see as Markarius snaps, a familiar pressure boons out of him in everyone but you two fall unconscious in the room. He looks at Ramsey. I admire your gall! And then he walks up to Zora and cuts her chains. We're leaving, daughter. I would never let you hang for me. Aww. But, but I can't gonna... let your friends kill you. Not for my <laughs> crimes. Not Does it have to be this way? Really? Haven't we done enough running from the problems we start? We're not running from our problems. We're facing them head on. And unfortunately, he looks around the room of unconscious people. I can't trust that they actually have your back. I will not and let my daughter do. I will not let my daughter fall. No, the not one when I've just met her. The one trying to reason with you is at it has been there for me more than I have ever wanted. I would like to try to start something with you, but I can't do it like this. I will not abandon the people who have fought so hard for me. My crew remains here. All they want to do is to talk. And we can talk at another time. But now, we must go. Dad, I could have gotten out of those hours ago. I'm here specifically because I want you to stay and negotiate. 
the, uh, most of this room is pissed the fuck off that you're even alive. But the one guy you keep arguing with is the one who is arguing against that. And he's the one who put you in the chains. Daughter, I love you. That I do. And I will not see that we get split. Are you with me? <laughs> Zora, I swear to fucking god, man. Do not do this to Tiki! <laughs> also, Dyrus would be like... I've offered you this once, and you said no, and I've respected it. So I offer you this a second time to join my crew. Not as a pirate, not as someone who's under me, but as someone that I want to be a part of their life, watch them grow, and take over my crew. You have a fucking crew, Zora. Cyrus risked his life for you many times. None of us are here to say that to her. I know. If you leave, I get the other half of the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Near may be an idiot, he but extends he's your his hand. Idiot. He extends his hand. Rams, you say something. Sorry, Zora, what do you do? <sighs> You're gonna break apart our family? Well, I mean, to be fair, half the family wants to hey, hang Zora. Hey, be quiet. So... Zora. I would like to roll... A Let me see what is the command to, to type to you only? Miami slash yeah. W space GM space your message. I mean, you can just announce it. No one else can interfere. No, I'm specifically wanting to. Okay. Let's see. I'm you just. Can also, text me if you think it'd be faster. Uh, did you get that? Okay, I'm just making sure that command. Yeah, works. I got it. Okay. Beyond Optimus Prime B. Ugh. <laughs> I've had that forever. Beyond prime beef? That sounds so weird. Trent, or Make music. high class beef. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so. I'm still typing.
，一枚。啊、uh, ，I'm going to use that twenty. What does the total make it? Thirty-three. Roll initiative. Ah,、uh, roll to hit, or roll to hit, yeah. Where is my page? There it is. My chat bubble messed up. Uh, and that good roll. Okay. And... Okay. Uh, so with thirty-three stealth, you manage to, uh, you say you're gonna go with him, and then you stab him. Yeah. Uh, roll to hit, or you attempt to stab him. Roll to hit. You have advantage. Are you gonna kill your fucking dad right now? My chat bubble is messed up, so I don't even know what I'm fucking rolling right now. Uh, you rolled a twenty-eight, which you do have advantage on this attack, so you crit. Um, you do thirty-one, thirty-three, forty-three, fifty-one damage. Cool. Anything else? I'm sorry, Dad. Loyalties lie where they are. He turns around. No, I'm sorry, daughter.、You、may hate me for a long time for this.、And、he pulls out his the black scourge, says its name, and he will attack you six times, non-lethally. Do I get my bonus attack? Or no. Uh, no. I would say the that would be your bonus action. Hide. I don't see the chat right now. Eighteen, thirty, twenty-five, twenty-eight, twenty-three. He is his crit fail is still a fifteen. Eighteen, twenty, twenty-three. Eighteen. Do they all hit? Right, your AC is fifteen. Uh, let me pull up my. Thing again, I can't fucking my page is fucked. Ah,、uh, refresh. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Hey. You can see everything. Yes. Okay. You see,、uh, it is sixteen. Sixteen. All right.、Uh, so all of them hit. Uh, let's see. No, I can defensive duelist. It's up my AC to twenty. Defensive duelist increases it to twenty. When your finesse weapon proficient with and another creature hits you, you can use your reaction to proficiency bonus to my AC. Put it in chat. Okay, it is proficiency bonus. Cool. All right, so then that takes out the first one. So that's gonna be thirty-three, twenty-nine, twenty-seven, twenty-five. That is. He does these non-lethally, and he does a hundred and fourteen damage. Exactly. Yep. That technically downs me. Then he will take Zora and leave. But I get Ramses. Is he still awake? 
Ramsey make a DC 16 strength saving though. Yep. You're prone. <sighs> All right. So, oh, okay. Uh, so, Ramsey, uh, you being the only one awake to see this, uh, see Zora rebelling against her father, and then Marcarius, uh, tears in his face, slashing her down, um, stabilizing her, and then taking him, taking her with him. Um, and like full speed. Speed just fucking gunning it out. Um, we're gonna make this a cinematic as uh, Marcarius um, bursts out the front door. People outside the door are unconscious. He just starts running. There's some people that are like, "What is that? Is wait, that is the prisoner?" And that that oh, and then like they start like. Um, start running after him and then they're like oh shit run back into the room um see everyone's just unconscious ramsey um they're on the ground getting himself up uh starting to try to wake people up as marcarius runs out of the city um gets onto the boat with zora in tow and uh leaves and that is where i have to end the session Well, shit. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Damn. That is a crazy session. <laughs> Fuck. Didn't go as planned at all. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. We will find out what the party decides to do next time. Uh, yeah. Uh <laughs> Ramsey, uh roll yeah, me one uh charisma check. All right, cool. All right, so it doesn't take you super long to wake everybody up. Um, Can I specifically wake People, do I have to wake everybody up? Yeah, I'm just okay. gonna allow the 14 to be flat, and then like, oh, it just takes you time to wake people up. Yeah, I'm asking if I can wake up specific people. Who are you trying to specifically wake up? The party. I will tell you that will still give them enough of a lead to just be gone. Yeah, I. Yeah, I know. I'm still... Can I try to wake up the party first? Yeah, the party gets woken up first. Okay. I'm gonna immediately send a message to Zora whether I know that they're that she's conscious or not, telling her that we'll come get her. Rams is gonna look to 2G. I think we need to leave. Now, yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna. Who did we save from his crew? Bucky. Bucky. 
He's probably gotten them by now. We should go to where Bucky is, or where we think Bucky is. Wouldn't Bucky be with Marcarius if they're... I'm... I, I think we need to get somewhere safe, and there's one place in the city that no one goes to. Now... If he goes to get Bucky, it's a chance to intercept. If he doesn't go to get Bucky, that's a person that knows his crew and the ins and outs of his ship. What if, what if he's already taking him? What if he grabbed him the whole time we gave him? Ramsey, where are we going? I don't think... <laughs> I think we need to get to Roz. That's gonna take you like an hour and a half. Dimension dooring. Giant dimension door twice, and that will save you like fifteen minutes. I still think that's our best option. Okay. That's the only safe place in the city. I mean, unless we're going to try to chase after him, but there's no way. I don't okay. think we'll catch him. Uh, so you guys all leave and start going towards Ross. Um, and like I said, that is where we will pick up. Okay. Jesus Christ. 